Well, happy Memorial Day, everybody. I hope you just have had the best day ever. Check out the pond. I mean, let's just show you what's already happened, and then we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do today. Are you done? Say cheese. <laughs> All right, y'all, so there are the plants that we planted last week. They're looking pretty good. This one could probably, eh, probably do a little better. Water hyacinths are doing great. Look at all these roots. Just falling in love, y'all. Big ol', I gotta find out what the real name of these are. I call them flags. I mean, look at that. Look at that beautiful bloom. We are gonna just add so many layers to the pond today. It's not even funny. You see the grill back there? Good old cheap $25 grill from Walmart. We're gonna be having a backyard picnic with Sarah and the girls. We're gonna be doing cool stuff on the pond and we are doing it all with you guys. I hope you're having a great day. First things first on this beautiful Memorial Day, we are putting up the American flag. Heck yeah, those colors don't run. Look how pretty that woman is right there, everybody. Are you talking about me or are you? You! Oh, thank you. That's what we're looking at, y'all. Let me see your gloves. Show Daddy your gloves. Oh my gosh. All right, so what are you doing today, honey? Okay, so Ari and I picked out a few herbs yesterday that we want to plant around the pond, and she picked out a really pretty who knows what flower and a sunflower. So we got a lot of planting to do. Come on, let's go get it. This is going to just turn into a heavenly spot. Cannot wait to see all the birds hanging out. Honey, how cool is that? Ready to get more? Uh-huh. Okay, come on. Yeah. Whenever I hear the word parsley, I think of Pirates of the Caribbean with Johnny Depp. Parle, parsley. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. How cool is this? Hopefully, <laughs> bird lands on it. Hopefully it doesn't knock it over. Pretty cool stuff. What do you think, honey? Have your bird feeders? Yeah. I think there are a lot of birds are gonna go there. It is absolutely amazing to come out here and hear how much noise is in our world. Like, that somebody sounds like they're running a chainsaw. I've got about 18 different dogs barking, airplanes and helicopters going overhead. And you never stop to think about all that noise in your world, which I would bet you money is why so many people are stressed out. You don't even realize how much noise is in your world until you start thinking about it. Nuts. I'm not complaining at all. I'm just bringing that to everyone's attention. It's crazy how much noise is in the world. Nice little birdhouse. If you build it, they will come. That's my favorite right there. That's why I got you three of them. Rosemary. We grew up drinking out of the water hose. We are working on the pond and in the yard. And we're gonna grill up some corn. If you've never grilled corn, just throw it right on the grill, in the husk, and it 
for all intents and purposes, will steam itself inside the husk. What a magnificent day. Just put a little bit of olive oil on top of that onion. Rub it in there. Oh, no, 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 I'll cut that for you, honey. Take some original Everglades, season up them onions. What I'm talking about. All right, y'all, I gotta give a huge shout out to my friend Ryan Olson with White Bone Creations. That is some freshly ground antelope from uh, freshly ground from last season, but he sent us some and I'm so thankful for that because we're cooking it up on Memorial Day. Everglades cactus dust. And we're just gonna doctor it up. Yeah, honey, you ready for a hamburger? I am, I'm hungry. Woo, look at that. Look at them onions. I just totally lost one. Free jumper. Where'd you get the girl? Bought it at Walmart. Like 30 bucks. Really? Yeah, it was nothing. Hey, Emma Jean. Happy Memorial Day. There's her beautiful herb garden. And then we've got the hangers with bird feeders and I tied corn up here. We've got beautiful cedar bird boxes. And then after we get done eating, we are gonna feed the fish. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell, but if you were in a fishing situation, you would say this water is nice and clear. You can see deep into the water. You can see the stems of the lilies nice and deep. No, it's not crystal clear like a, like a aquifer, but it's healthy and it's blooming. You can tell it's healthy because all the plants are deep, dark, beautiful green in color. And we just planted the sawgrass, so it really hasn't taken hold yet, but it will. How'd you guys like that herb garden? Pretty happy about it. Well, y'all, this is what Memorial Day is all about. Just uh, reflecting on men and women that gave their, their lives in the military and helped us have such great freedoms here in America and across the world. Oh, man. Oh, it's hot. That is hot, but look how nice and roasted it is. Aha, uh -huh. now we got us some shade. Oh, and we, this one's kind of broke. Lord, I thank you so much for this day, and I thank you for all the men and women who sacrificed and paid it all for the freedoms and liberties that we have here as Americans. Lord, thank you for our friends, our family, and this wonderful food. Please nourish it to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you guys, happy Memorial Day. Whether you're an American or abroad, I hope you're having a fantastic day, because I know I am. And we're not done yet. When we get done eating, we still have a lot to do with the pool. The fish have to eat. We're doing more stuff in the pool. This is just, this is just in the middle. That's really good, isn't it? You're so cute. Alrighty, so I put a bunch of water hyacinths in here to see how they did, but I think they're better served out here. We've got plenty of water in there, but I'm gonna fill up some of this with potting soil. Now that is full of nutrients. 
full. We're gonna see if the bass are hungry or not. Hold on, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Watch this. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was quick. So these plants right here are doing phenomenal. So I'm gonna try to transport this into this box right here. We're gonna fill up the bottom of this thing. Some of the gravel. Now you can see just how much vegetation and growth, and that will now, it'll fill out the whole box. Now that whole box will just float around. All the water can get to the, yeah. to the roots, and that's like a floating filtration system right there. Now what you've all been waiting for, that grass has been growing in that pot but guess what that is what we call floating tussock that grass will float on its own with no help from anything and all them roots will go down filter the water and become a living water filter now if that's not cool i don't know what it is Lots of you have been asking, what are you going to do with the pond when you move to the new house? I'm not sure yet. There's a possibility that whoever buys this house, I will ask them, would you like the pond? And just give them the pond and let them have it. If they don't want it, then I'll take it all apart. The actual frame of the pond will be useless. It's just a cheap kiddie pool, you know, above ground pool but all the lilies we could transport, the papyrus, all that we could transport. And a company named Aquascape. Greg, if you're watching, I love you, brother. I can't wait to come up to Pondemonium. But Aquascape is gonna come down with a couple of their architects and help us design an amazing water feature at the new home. It's gonna have, who knows, all kinds of cool stuff in it. And, uh, and it's gonna be a part of, our, part of our new home. So this, is fun and it's been a huge learning experience. And it's gonna be here for you know the next eight, nine, 10 months while we build the new home. But once we build the new home, we're gonna be on to bigger and better things and either we'll transport everything or we'll give it to the new homeowner. But uh, that's all I've got for you guys. I certainly appreciate all of you. Um, you mean the world to me. And I, I thank you for all of your encouragement, your support and your kindness to me and my family. So that's all I've got for you today. Take care, God bless. We gone.